Hello stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I wanted to show you how I created these two cards using the Daisy Delight stamp set and coordinating punch. And the reason why I'm showing you both of these cards is because they actually go together. I used the flower from this one rather than wasting it by just punching it out. I used it for this one. So let's get started on how I created these two cards together. We're first going to start with this one. I used a note card and envelope for that. Those are just so handy because the note cards already come with the score line in the middle, so it makes for folding super easy. I just went ahead and ran my bone folder over that line there. And then, uh, and these little note cards are um, three and a half by five inches. So I layered a piece of the designer series paper on there, and that measures three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I took a piece of Whisper White, just one quarter inch in, which is three by four and a half. And I'm going to stamp both the Greeting and the Daisy. Those both come from the Daisy Delight stamp set. So that's this one here. You can see how it's got this giant daisy flower that has the coordinating punch. Of course, you can bundle and save when you purchase these together. And then I'm going to use that big thank you greeting right there in the middle. So whenever you're stamping the daisy uh, image, you always want to make sure that um, the images are not crooked. So like you don't want it like this. You want it with the points straight up and straight down um, because that's how it will go into the punch. So I'm just going to stamp that down and then I'm going to go ahead and add the greeting there on the bottom. So just a simple thank you note, which again, a little note card and envelope with a simple little uh, thank you note is just perfect to have on hand for any occasion. So now I'm just going to slide this into my punch upside down so I can see where I'm punching my daisy and voila. Now we have that fabulous daisy for our other card. And now we have our card front all ready to go. So I'm just going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals along the outside and then some just around that daisy just to be sure. You all know I'm an overuser of Stampin' Dimensionals, so that's okay. So now we'll peel off the backs of these, add it to the front of our card, and we're still not done. There's one more little step that's super important because it's the bling. So, we're just going to add that to the front, and then I'm going to use one of the new gold faceted gems. How fabulous are these? Of course, I've already used some of them. So I'm just going to pop one of these off. They already have adhesive on the back, and place it right there in the center. Isn't that super gorgeous? I love, love, love it. Okay, so now that we have that quick and simple card already done, then now we're going to make that second card. So that's this one here. And with this one, I just started with a Calypso Coral card base. So here is our card base, and, um, and it's eight and a half by five and a half. And I just went ahead and layered on the first two layers. This again uses that fabulous Daisy Designer paper. So I have a layer of um, Wisteria Wonder measuring four inches by five and a quarter, and then the designer paper, which is three and three quarters by five. Then I took one of the squares from the stitched shape, so this is the large square, and I went ahead and I added the greeting. So this greeting is actually from a different stamp set. It is from the Wood Words stamp set, which is this one here, and I just liked those bold greetings right there. When I used one of the greetings from the Daisy stamp set, I used this one. The thank you was not quite big enough. Um, so I used this one, and I just felt like the greeting uh, was too uh, thin and didn't really pop as much as I wanted it to. I wanted my greeting to be just a little bit more bold and to really stand out. So then I actually used some of the greenery pieces and I stamped all those in Old Olive. Let's bring back in that case and I can show you since they're so skinny. So there's 
this little image here with the little flowers, so we're going to stamp those in with Syria Wonder, and then there's this image over here, and I'm actually going to stamp those. I did one of them where um, I stamped it Old Olive and Old Olive, and I did another where I did Old Olive and Tranquil Tide, which is what I stamped my greeting in was Tranquil Tide because that's in the designer paper as well, and I actually think I like the Tranquil Tide a little bit better. So, we're just going to ink that up. I stamped all these just kind of falling off the bottom at various, um, you know, layers just to kind of give that texture that it looks a little more natural and some are big and some are short. So, there's our first little one and then we have a second one over here. We're just going to line that up right on top. The awesome thing about this one is it lines like on top, like not like on the top of the, um, the greenery, but actually lays over it, so it makes it a lot easier to stamp. And then our little flowers are done in Wisteria Wonder. So we're just going to line those up with all the little greenery pieces. So there we have that fabulous little focal point, but that is not the main piece. That we're going to go ahead and we're going to add to our card. Oh, and I actually added it with Stampin' Dimensionals on that one. That's okay, because we're going to add the daisy with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I know, I know, I love my Stampin' Dimensionals and want to use them for every project, but it's just not going to always happen, I guess. And that's okay. So now we only actually need one daisy for this card because we already have our second daisy. So I'm just going to stamp that and punch it out. So we're saving cardstock, you know, like every half a daisy. So how perfect is that? And we're not wasting that one that we've already stamped. I also stamped one of the insides of the daisy just on a little bit of, um, I stamped it off in Calypso Coral and then stamped it on to my project. So it had that little bit of a lighter look. And then now I added a little bit of snail adhesive to the center and just offset them. So you just want them to where all the petals are floating in between and it really makes for a full flower. And then I'm just going to add a Stampin' Dimensional to the back of that and place it down here in the corner, sort of overlapping our, our image that we already created. So there you have that fabulous second card created where you use the daisy from the first card. So I don't know if you can tell very well, but I used that Tranquil Tide for this one on the greenery, and I just used the regular Old Olive on this one. So I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there's the, um, the first card, and then of course, here, or here's the first card, and then there's the second card. Of course, I'll be posting all of these on my blog, laurasstamppad.com, so you can check that out there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comments which one your favorite one is. Is it the coral flower here, or is it this uh, Tranquil Tide Designer Series Paper Flower? I'd love to hear from you down below, and I hope you enjoyed this two-in-one card sample. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.